Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Tuesday, June 21st. The field of 2012 Republican presidential candidates keeps on growing. Today, former Utah governor and former U.S. ambassador to China John Huntsman declared his candidacy. He used the Statue of Liberty as a backdrop in tribute to former President Ronald Reagan, who kicked off his 1980 presidential campaign in the same place. Huntsman says he'll skip Iowa's first-in-the-nation presidential caucuses. He says he knows his opposition to farm subsidies would doom his candidacy there. More trouble for one of the other Republican candidates. The top two fundraisers for the Newt Gingrich presidential campaign have quit. Fundraising director Jody Thomas and fundraising consultant Mary Heitman both resigned. This comes less than two weeks after 16 other members of the Gingrich campaign team resigned en masse, saying they disagreed with the way the former House Speaker was conducting his campaign. Overseas, the eyes of the financial world are on Greece. That's where a confidence vote by Parliament on budget plans submitted by Prime Minister George Papandreou takes place at midnight Athens time. Approval, which is seen as likely, would allow the next installment in Europe's bailout package to be sent to Greece. It would also probably trigger a new wave of protests from Greek citizens who are gathered near the Parliament building by the thousands and claiming they won't take further taxes or cuts in government programs. And back home, we know President Obama will address the nation on Wednesday and announce a plan to withdraw troops from Afghanistan. The big questions, how many troops and how soon? The general feeling is the number will be 10,000 troops, 5,000 this summer, and another 5,000 by the end of the year. All Obama has said so far is that he wants the withdrawal number to be significant. His address is set for Wednesday night at 8. That's your political roundup for Tuesday, June 21st. I'm Leon thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to RTTNews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.